And so Peter Obi continued his nationwide Ramadan tour titled Thank You Tour. You guys remember that he said he's going to thank everybody who voted for him and that's Baba made. And he decided to do it during this Ramadan, um, during this season of Ramadan. So today he paid a courtesy call to Skylar University in Kano State. His visit marks a significant milestone in the region's educational landscape as it is the first privately owned university in northern Nigeria. So during his visit, guys, he emphasized the critical role that institutions like Skyline University play in fostering innovations, entrepreneurship, and economic development in northern Nigeria. He also commended the university's commitment to providing world-class education, equipment, and opportunities for students from across the country particularly within its region. So I will just leave you guys to watch the remaining videos. Please kindly like this video and keep following this test date for more. How are you guys doing? Uh, Mr. Peter B is here. Yeah, he was invited on the court call. What What do you think about him? What you, you know, who Mr. Peter B is. Yeah, I know Mr. Peter B. I'm really yeah, surprised to see him. Seriously, and uh, it's a pleasure. It's a nice person. I know him. I, I mean, I think that's all I have to say about him. Nice yeah, it's nice to Yeah, it's nice to really see. Thank you. Okay, so here we go. Let me just hold on. So stay with me, ma'am. Yeah. So Mr. Peter B is here today. I just I just wonder what what does that mean for you and um what's the Skyline University all about? Well, it's a great pleasure receiving uh, Mr. Peter Obi here in Skyland University. I have been following his career and, uh, you know, the two times governor and a lot of work he's doing in another state, which really uh, makes me feel uh, very much connected. Uh, I'm sure he's going to uh, look into the part of education and uh, his presence here makes me feel confident that there, is, there are leaders who are thinking about education and bringing the new forward. Thank you. I'll talk to you some more. What did you say? Yeah, excited to see him. When I came, Good to see you. Like I said again, Mr. Peter B is here on a courtesy call to the Skyline University here in Kano. Anything for education, anything for the upliftment of the people. We are advertising, but it takes time for so, Mr. Peter B is here in a courtesy call. You guys know who Mr. Peter B is. Yes. <laughs> Anything for education, obedience, yeah. 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 Thank you. We have some robotics over here. Here's the room, sir. Robotics. Robotics. The 
This is Mr. Peter Obi. He's having a tour around the Skyline University here in Kano. It's a university that they have uh, about 60% population is women, and they're hoping to really change the status quo where the traditional um, culture of getting women married. But quite a lot is happening here, and is here to pay cuts call. His Excellency Mr. Peter Obey is touring Nigeria again, interacting with citizens, comforting them and encouraging them to continue to believe in a new Nigeria that is possible. Atiku, where is it? Atiku is resting in Dubai. Hi, about Sowore. Sowore he disappeared to US, but he will return 2027, by that time, when there is another um, election, to claim that it is his turn to be president. This man, called Mr. Peter Obi, is an exceptional leader, known for his intelligence, charisma, and commitment to serving his people. He knows what the people want, and that is why you see him always with the people. And that's why you see him always treating what the people are passing through. He has a remarkable track record, and is the ideal choice for visionary leadership. And that is why you see him receiving different numerous um, um, awards. The other time he receives one award. The other time he received leadership award. You see, my people, eh? The grace where Peter will be the carry. No juju man. Yes, I say no juju man fits Duan. And no juju man fits stop this man. Everywhere he goes, people welcome his presence. And that is because God is with him. I bet you that Tinubu does not even know that Skyline University is existing. Not to even talk about the location of the university. Anyways, let him keep enjoying the stolen mandate that he cannot even use, that he cannot even um, um, take the country to the permanent side, that he cannot even um, defend. One day, one day, he will come up for that seat. Now, three years, now he just remain. All right, guys, please kindly like this video, share this video, and keep following Jesus' date. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.